Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? I hope you are having a great, great weekend. This video is um, uploaded on the 14th of November 2020 on Saturday. So, today I would like to talk about um, the control over the market or controlling something because this philosophy or this idea is very important um, to grasp. If, especially if you want to become a full-time trader, um, surrender to the market or control or not to control over the market will be very important. And that's why I decided to talk about this on today's topic video. So before starting here, just as a quick disclaimer, basically this information is based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So. Um, speaking of um, the control, well, when you think about the control over something, um, first of all, have you ever thought about the control over something? Like uh, some stuff or some people, maybe um, you once like told somebody to do something and if the person does exactly the way you said, then maybe you thought that you have a control over him, right? So that means, um, you know, he well, actually it does exactly the same as you told. Or sometimes, um, you know, even if uh, nowadays internet, Google, when you search Google, basically when you launch a Google and search any type words and um, you hit the enter button and you get all the results and this is another type of the control, the sense of control. Or even when you drive a car, for example, uh, when you turn the wheel to the right, then the car will go to the right. When you turn to the left, then the car will go to, will turn to the left. So in that case also, you might feel the control over the car, the direction of the car. Um, so and especially these days, I think uh, you know we are you know very convenient right now because um, smartphones or PC, mobile, um, you know, um, tablet, or um, you know, anything. You can just one click or two clicks. You can get all this information on the internet. So, and every every time you press the power button, the power on, then everything will turn on basically. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think this is a very convenient world, but um, we might forget. We might tend to forget. The importance of control over something because because we are a very convenient world uh, we tend to forget about it so why I say this is because um, I think the control over something is um, you know not really necessary when you take trades or if you especially if you become if you want to become a full-time trader control is something that actually drags um, your success or drags your growth as a full-time trader. Because when you think about it, uh, the Forex pair, like uh, or any markets, even stock markets or indexes, any markets, um, basically you have no control over the market because, for example, right now, this is um, USDC AD chart. And in four hour chart, this is range. The price is in the Kumo now, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. But um, let me go back the chart a little bit, maybe somewhere here. So let me um, let me um, go back to where the market was going down. So this was the uh, this is four hour chart, and this is the fifth of November, two thousand twenty, and you can see that the Kumo is going down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below the candles. So this is the definition of downtrend. So as soon as you see the market, this is downtrending. So you expect the market to go down continuously in this case. Basically, that's Ichimoku analysis. This is a way you capture the trend. And you want to confirm this in lower time frame. So let me show, for example, one hour chart. And let's see. Okay, so in one hour also, we see this is downtrending. You see Kumo's moving down, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen going down, Chikou Span below the candles. So this is another uh, confirmation for the downtrend and then you start to look for the sell chance 
even lower time frames, 15 or 5 minute chart. And this is the way I take trades basically. So let me go to, for example, 5 minute chart. And let me try to find where I can sell. So let me show the Bollinger Band Stochastics. Let me hide the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And so here is Bollinger Band and Stochastics with the 5 minute chart. So I'm looking for the tell chance and I can see that the Bollinger Band is nicely squeezing now. And I can see that um, Stochastics is gold crossing right now. So I will just wait for the Stochastics to be dead, dead crossing and look for the sell chance. For those who are new to my channel, um, stochastic setting of mine is 30, 10, 10, percent K30, percent T, percent D10, and slowing 10. This is my stochastic setting. So right now, we know that this is gold crossing. So this, this is not really a good sign to sell. Um, so let me move forward the candles a little bit until I can capture the exact setting edge. So as time goes by, I won't look for sell. Okay, so here I can find the sell chance because now stochastics uh, are gold, uh, dead crossing right now. It's one of the confirmations. And also after the branch band squeeze, this is band walking. The price is in between division one and two, and this is band walking, another confirmation to sell. And also I can find that there is a breakout of the recent low downwards here. There's a breakout. So that's the third confirmation. And I will take a sell here. So let's assume that I take a sell here. In this case, where the stop loss is going to be? Um, usually, I put the stop loss slightly above the recent high when I take a sell. So my stop loss will be over here. And this is... Uh, pips wise, this is um, 45 pips of stop loss and I expect the market to go down continuously because I confirm the downtrend on higher time frames. So far so good. So let me run and chart a little bit until I can set the break even line. And remember that today's topic, you know, we don't have any control over the market. So I expect the market go down. But at the same time, if it goes backwards, then I just take it also. So let me gradually move the candles one by one. Okay, initially it goes down. And this is 5 minute chart, so let me go a little bit more. Okay, now the market is consolidating. Hopefully it breaks downwards continuously. Okay, now it's going up in still range market. All right, so this is range market still. I can't set the break even line yet. So basically, when the market is ranging like this, then basically I just, you know, stay away until I can set the break even. But this is where we have to be patient, really. Usually, you know, when you when you see this kind of range market, then you might tend to exit already because um, you know the market does not really go down as you expected. But for me, I just wait. I just keep waiting until the market goes down this way. So let me move a couple more candles. Okay, now it's going up. So let's see. Now it's going up slightly below the stop loss. You know, the upper line, upper blue line, the stop loss. So it didn't really touch the stop loss, but still in the range now. So let's see if it touches the stop loss or not. Okay, this is still range market. Okay, now the market reached over, over to the stop loss and I exit exactly here. So in this particular example, I lost the trade and but um, you know so initially my view was downtrend and I was expecting the market to go down all the way this way but unfortunately it didn't happen it didn't happen and the market retraced backwards 
and it hit the stop loss. And these examples happens a lot for me. I mean, um, you know, my winning rate is not 100%, so my winning rate is only about like a 30 or 40%. Um, so, um, you know, these retracements do happen, especially in lower time frames. These retracements do happen many times. So, what I do next here, once I set the, once I once the market took the stop loss, then what I will be doing is I look at the four-hour chart and see if four-hour chart is still downtrending. So, let me see. Let me go back to the four-hour chart, and I use. I look at the Ichimoku lines. Okay, and then I can see that the Kijun Sen is flat now. I can still see that the Kumo is moving that down, but the Kijun Sen is flat. So in this case, the market can go back all the way to the Kijun Sen, and this is where I start stop looking for the sell chance. But um, as per today's topic, um, you know I can't control the market. You know, um, I only expect the market to go down, but uh, it doesn't happen. Um, you know, only 30% or 40% of chance the market goes towards my direction. Otherwise, I I take the stop stop loss. But um, coming back to the topic, um, you know, I think um, it is very very important to remember that um, you know we have no control over the market. However, because we are under, uh, we are in the very convenient world, where um, you know, even if you press the power button, then it turns on. When you, when you, um, you know, uh, rotate the handle to the right, steering wheel to the right, then the car, the car will go to the right. So, as you know, it becomes more convenient, then uh, we might forget the sense of no control over anything however so and that actually creates some anger um then that was a big lesson for me when i was a newbie back in uh, seven years ago because um you know i expect the market to go down in this case and every time or not every time but whenever the market goes backwards i get so fresh frustrated because um i was expecting the market to go down but it doesn't happen and if it happens once it's okay if it ha happens twice, and then it was a little bit frustration. If it happens like three consecutive times, then I get super frustrated <laughs> when I was a newbie, because uh, I am I was so used to the condition of the control over anything. So, um, and this is where actually we get frustration. For example, when you raise a kid, if you have a kid, we have a children or child, and if you tell somebody or if you tell your child to do something and if he doesn't or if she doesn't uh, do the things that you told her, him or her to do then you might get frustrated um, or in these kind of uh, you know events are actually seen on uh, domestic violence sometimes um, you know um, the male actually you know get frustrated uh, to his partner and uh, you know he abuses his partner sometimes you know this kind of news happens um, in Japan and also I'm sure all over the world it happens the domestic violence is another you know type of example where um, you know we tend to get frustrated when we don't have when when we don't have the sense of the control over somebody or something um, like even driving a car when you uh, you know, when you're on the highway, for example, and when you see, when when you want to, if you want to turn right, if you want to change the line to the right, and if you give signal to the right, but um, if if you see the car behind, and if this car does not yield your way to change the line to the right, then you might get frustrated. Why he doesn't yield, right? I give signal, you know, all the way and he actually comes very fast from the back and you almost hit the car right and then you get frustrated because um you give signal you 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 know uh, you give attention that you're changing line to the right but if somebody doesn't listen to it 
then you get frustration or anger. So, um, and if you are used to this kind of, uh, you know, feeling every day, then you, you get frustrated easily in Forex or any trades because you cannot basically control the market. So, um, I think, uh, yeah, in, in Japanese we say, um, like, um, you know, uh, well, actually, in Goichi Hosoda says um, surrender to the market. And I think this is a very important concept. Um, whenever you face any markets, because basically that's what we can all do. We cannot really control. So the only thing that we can do is we basically surrender to the market. So, and this is why um, the money management and psychological management are very important. Sometimes it, they are even more important than a technical analysis. Because technical analysis is, you know, you look at the lines and you, you look at these, uh, you read the chart by these indicators or lines or signals and you look for the sell chance or buy chance. You know, this is pretty logic and very easy. But uh, the issue comes actually afterwards when you start to, when the, when the market starts to retrace backwards against your direction after you take a buy or sell, then uh, you might get frustrated. And this is where the money management and also psychological management kicks in. Um, so how to avoid this type of a frustration is, first of all, once again, to admit the fact that you cannot control the market. And secondly, just control, uh, just have a sense of control uh, where you can or you can in the market. So you cannot control the market but what can you control in the market is that you can control where to buy, where to sell, you can control. And also where to put the stop loss, you can control it. The lot sizing, you can control. Or uh, when to move the stop loss to break even, you can control it also. It doesn't happen automatically, you can control. And also the way you take, the, you, you trail the profit, that's also controllable. So, focus on the things that are controllable in trading and this is the best way to avoid these frustrations based on my experience. And that's why I say the money management and also uh, psychological management is even more important than technical analysis. So, yeah, uh, please get a sense of um, where you can control in the market and focus on, focus to refine the strategies of, of where you can control in the market. And then the things you cannot control the market, like the direction or the movement of the market, you cannot control. So do not try to control the market, but try to control the things you can control in the market. And then you will be successfully healthy in the mindset and also a risk management. All right, so that's it for today's talk. I hope you liked today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day on my YouTube channel. So I hope you have a great, great weekend. And tomorrow on Sunday, it's going to be a live. I will give some weekly forecast on forex pairs and some commodities and indexes. So I will hope to see you on tomorrow's Sunday's live stream. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.